So hello, my name is Martina Żechowska and I am a student at the third grade of Klementyna Hoffmanowa Secondary School and I extend math, physics and English. I am a candidate for the Queen Hedwig Scholarship for the trip to the United States of America. I was born in April in 2005. I'm a passionate, open, and highly motivated, while at the same time, I'm a people's person. I love to spend time with others. What I'm passionate about? As you can probably predict from my extended subjects, I'm passionate about technology, space, and science. But mostly, I'm passionate about sound engineering and cybersecurity issues, in particular in banking sector. But also, I'm very keen on reading nonfiction literature. What do I do? I do a lot of free time activities that allow me to develop myself. But I'm mostly proud of the fact that I debate in the Oxford format. I have been doing that for three years now. I do that in Warsaw Debating League and also in historical debates. I'm also the president of the school technique club called Hoftech, where we are focused on doing background for events such as sound engineering, light engineering, and making partnerships with companies. What have I organized? I organize events, but these are the events, projects I'm mostly proud of. First one is 12 minutes theater festival. The second one is nine minute festival. The other projects that I did with my colleagues at Hoftech are projects in the framework of the activities of the active Warsaw Youth, of the Warsaw City Hall policy, for example, with Warszawski Gongus Techniki Sceniczny. Also, in a group, I did two projects for the Story Contest, where I share my passion for reading with kids in first grade of primary school and with my peers. But I also developed myself academically. I have done a lot of courses organized by Faculty of Economic Sciences at Warsaw University. I also did mathematics courses, Mathematica Dalecika Wyświata by ITSEM at Warsaw University also, but outside this typical standard courses, I'm developing skills that will be useful for my future job or academic, further academic growth by provided by companies like Google, Coca-Cola, or Project Management Institute, where you can see one of the examples to my certificates here. But what would I get from the scholarship? I would get a lot, but mostly I would get the possibility to know the real culture of the United States of America. Yes, the, one of the main purpose of the scholarship is academic. Yes, but culture is much uh, important to understand how the world works, how everything is going, happening around us. I would get a belief that everything is possible to achieve if I want to. Okay, I would get to see how the biggest innovation in the world are created and used. For example, at NASA Research Facility, I would get to knowledge about studies and social life on reputable colleges where, where I plan to apply in the fall of 2022, such as MIT, Stanford, and Harvard, friendship with other scholarship holders, and the world's brightest scientists, which will make me more motivated to further personal development and academic growth. What will my community get? My community get, would get mostly three things, knowledge, experience, motivation. First, knowledge. Due to me being an active student during classes, I would share my both my cultural and my academic knowledge, science knowledge, that I would get from the trip. Experience. I take initiative in both an academic and social life, as you could say. So the experience that I would gather during the trip would be helpful and valuable in the process of organizing new events, which will benefit my whole school community. Motivation. The best way to keep motivated to self-development is to be surrounded by people who are motivated to achieve something.
My story would be a motivation for others to take part in the academic and school social life, to develop themselves, to apply for scholarships. What is more, I would be the proof that big dreams come true if you work really hard for them. Thank you for your attention. I hope I persuade you to choose me. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Martina. Uh, Marta? Yes, thank you. Uh, great presentation, really. I enjoyed it very much. It's like to the point, it's very clear. It's uh, showing the way you want to, you know, um, you want to tag uh, our, our attention. Uh, you say something that culture is important uh, in terms of visiting United States. Um, how do you see the definition of culture? I see the culture as the way of living and as literature, as arts, as architecture, because culture you can understand as typical arts like literature, paintings, but you can understand culture as the way you live, the way you choose, the way you think, because there are cultural differences. Like in the United States, they are paying a lot of more attention to the fact of the racist things, the discrimination, toleration. It's also culture difference. So I understand culture as this art, architecture, but also the way of living, the way how they are creating this culture of getting knowledge of academic growth. Beautiful answer, thank you. And one more question. You've said that uh, big dreams come true. What is yeah. your bigger dream to come true in the next year? Next year, um, I believe that my biggest dream is to get accepted to MIT or to Stanford, because these are my two biggest purposes of applying there. But from outside this academic growth, my biggest dream is to share my passion with others because uh, what I experience, somebody also can get to learn. So this feeling that I did something for somebody is also very important for me. For example, this year I have in my club over 40 people that didn't even think about something engineering, for example. And now they are passionate about, they are asking me, how Martin you are doing that? And I'm like, this way, it's easy, I can show you. So sharing my passion with more people is also one of my biggest purpose, goal of the next year. Thanks, Martina. Thank you. That's all from my side. Okay, it's my turn. Martina, you are you are mentally, you are intellectually <laughs> uh, in the United States uh, on your uh, in in one of uh, United States uh, uh, in United States University, I think uh, after your presentation. But and uh, I will uh, ask you the the worst uh, question. The most repeated question, but I, I expect the uh, creativity. So tell me, uh, what's the biggest factor you made you choose? Um, maybe not, no, not this way. Can you elaborate on uh, why completing your studies at an American university is such a big dream of yours? What is so special about those establishments that a school in Poland cannot offer you? Would you, mm. what are you thinking about? Poland has brilliant scientists uh, also, but I would like to experience the different culture, the different culture of learning. The system that we are here in Poland is one too many. At MIT, Harvard, Stanford, and NYU, it's more like many too many. So you have this more ways of changing knowledge. You learn from each other more, you have more projects. And also there is the fact that I want to travel the world to experience how the science is viewed in different parts of the world, in China, in Japan. And also these biggest, most knowledge, repeatable colleges give you the possibility of doing that during researchers. 
project. So these are my two purposes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what opportunities do you hope to gain from your visit to CV? What uh, interests you most about the place, maybe, uh, uh, maybe about the people? The most that interests me about this place is the life of people, how they get there. To talk to these people, how they get in themselves into research projects, what was their like the lighting bubble, what caused them interested in topics of science, how they see like this boom, I want to go there. And how they are hardworking because research to find an innovation, you need years. So they need to be very patient and affirmative to do that. Okay, thank you a lot. Thank you very much. Thank My you. pleasure. Martina, uh, has it been uh, stressful for you, uh, the, the, the session? This section was not so stressful as I predicted. But I was more stressful about using language as English because I speak a lot as uh, I'm taking part in Oxford debating. But the factor of language was a bit of a question for me because uh, language can be tricky. We have false friends. We have like this time things like time pressure, accent, and so on. But not very much. Okay. And if you think about something very nice, uh, let's imagine uh, this is the day when you hold in your hand the diploma from Stanford University, um, possibly uh, with a word. Can you imagine that? I can imagine. Would you like to imagine that? I would like to imagine that. I would like to imagine that every my dream uh, can become possible by my hard work, then okay. that's and, uh, what I imagine myself. If, I, if, if, you, if you could tell us, what do you do? You have the diploma. What is the next step? The next step for me would be looking back at what I did during college, because I plan during college, you have very well, often step would be looking back. I would be looking that during my plan for college is to do during holidays research projects, take part, maybe take a job as teaching assistant in the, later to see what I did as academic and see what make me passionate more. And I would plan, my plan is to do some research, start up about cybersecurity issues. Uh, such as passwords that you are actually doing, but you don't know you are doing, for example, for banking sector. Because, for example, the speed that you type on the keyboard says, okay, that's really you. You are logging into your account. So this type of things really interests me. So but probably you I would You would start do it in America company. or in Poland? Or in any other country? Uh, I know there are three or four existing this type of startups at Poland. I didn't think about location yet because technology is developing very fast. Two years ago, you would think that, maybe not two years ago, but some years ago, no case, okay, so let's say two years ago, 16 gigabytes of memory in your phone was a lot. Now you can have a terabyte there. So technology is changing very fast. I'm thinking about using that knowledge to work at here because I love the Poland. I'm a patriot, but uh, the possibility of doing that in the United States or UK or in China is also in my mind. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Marta, may I ask you for the feedback? Sure, with pleasure, Martina, with pleasure, really, because you sound so mature. And I think that the fact that you are participating in Oxford debates makes me feel that you are just a mature presenter. So that's that's the feedback from my side. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for spending the same with me. 
Um, Martina, I think you are very, very self-confident and uh, your, your presentation was very, very good, was simply professional and with uh, EY uh, color, so it's very important. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so very, very nice. It was nice to hear you and to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your feedback. Every feedback is a way of getting to know more about self, to correcting myself. So every word is value. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought. Very professional. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I always speak uh, as the last one. And uh, my colleagues take uh, the best part. Uh, I, I may only repeat. Um, uh, I enjoyed your presentation and discussion with you. Uh, Martyna, thank you very much. Uh, bardzo dziękujemy. Um, gratulujemy i, uh, i poczekaj na wyniki do jutra. <laughs> Dziękuję bardzo. Mam nadzieję do zobaczenia i do usłyszenia. Do widzenia.